chicken video and um as you guys seen from the montage we got a lot of eggs and a lot of raking to do in here and we gotta feed these all hungry things so they'll shut up for two seconds yeah let me just go ahead and show you this is what i do yeah, every time. so i do it every single time i'm filming because Kelly does these under the dogs yeah so i'm gonna show mason how the routine goes pretty much but this is their um scratch i just kind of chucked that like this is what it looks like look how hungry they're ready I chucked some in there while I'm doing this, so that way I don't sidetrack it. And I kind of scoop it. Your bucket, your things over here. I use that for, um, or yeah, what am I doing? I thought, I thought, um, you took this to the dogs. This is for the chickens. And I scoop the pot like this to a full load, and then, um, I'm going to open it. Can you open the chicken door? I usually have a free hand. Um... Then I do this. And I make them all happy. So then they shut up. Listen to how quiet they got. Wow. And they're getting fed a little late because we um, fell back on our posting time today. Yeah, we got, we got caught up today. So our posting time today was not very good. So, yeah, we fell back on that. Sorry about that, guys. But, so let me show you these eggs. And I'm gonna get their main feed. Yeah, so here, I'm show, I'll show them the eggs first. So, guys, we're trying to get better at doing this. I know it gets really annoying for you guys. So, Mason, we're learning how to do our new stuff. Mason did not right now. Yeah. Uh, you don't use the scooper. No, I use the scooper. Right. That's I'll, put, I'll put it in the pan. No, okay, that's fine. I usually just sprinkle. I sprinkle both. See, I like doing this. Ow. I like doing this. Leaving this here. I put that there for Gypsy because um, she gets her own little mound of food right here. Because the other chickens fight her off, so it's easier for her. And yeah, don't mind my grandma toes. Like, bruh, what are those? And I don't do the chickens. Mason does not do the chickens. Mason does not do the chickens, but these are all the eggs we got. One, two green eggs. Three, four, five, six, brown and white. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Beautiful green egg, by the way. Look at this one. Spotted green egg. I don't know if y'all can see that one. Too. It's a pretty egg. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of eggs today, so we're gonna need triple hands. I think these are. Yeah, these are green ones. Who keeps laying the green ones lately? Who's laying these? 
Basil. She's the only one. She's our only green egg. Basil? You were supposed to be brown egg. I think Basil actually got mixed in with the wrong, um, wrong, like, group of, um, chickens when she was, a when she was a baby because for some reason she's, like, she lays green eggs when she was supposed to lay white and brown eggs. So she's an Easter egg. Look, this is Hennifer. Oh, look at him. Oh, Hennifer. Oh, you're so got fluffy little cheeks. I love the cheeks. You might be eating before all your chickens eat it all. Yeah. All right, here you in the camera. Okay, so I just fed the chickens. This is their, this is their food that is really good for them. Is this stuff right here? That's their main food. That's their layer pellets. That's what makes them lay all the eggs in there. This is just stuff that. Y'all wanna know how to clean the chicken coop? We need more equipment. You don't you don't know yet, do you? Alright, well let me get some more stuff to turn on. The two things are not gonna cut it. Okay, so we got the shovel in there, we got the rake. I gotta go over here to get the other stuff. I know I'm getting You need this. And we grab that yellow rake because we're definitely gonna need that. Yep, and then I'll grab this one, this one works better. Then we're gonna need this one right here. This is oh, all of the equipment now. Now we got all the equipment we need. Yep. Why don't you got the yellow right? Because this one's better, right? The yellow one's junk. I don't even know why we still have that thing. I don't know, I usually use it. It doesn't work too bad. Hey! Alright. Now let me show y'all how to do this. I like to disconnect this just because we have to go in and out. And it can get annoying. So now that's just connected, it's not gonna come back in these hurt when they slam into the back you. Oh, we have yeah. a scar from that. <laughs> but, so this is my shovel. You can go ahead and read it. Yeah, it's too Kinley, buddy dog approved when she used to do the hunting dogs, but she don't do them no more. My baby was on this. Now she does these ones, so it needs to be a chicken shovel now. Yes, and this is the rake I use. I usually will use this one when there is holes like that. Yeah. Like that. And uh, this is what I use when I use this. Is actually, I usually use it by the water because it gets all this dried up stuff right here broken up to break up. Same with like all the dry spots that are like old, crusty and stuff. This is another rake I like to use. To that's old Matilda right there. To grab like the twigs and sticks and stuff. And just pull them kind of in the middle, and then I will take the shovel and we'll rake those across the fence because they're not going to eat sticks and feathers. Yep. And the main the main goal of this is to bring the stuff that's from the bottom up to the top, bring the stuff that's down here to the bottom, and then and then like in, in, and for the next month we'll do the same thing as every month we have to do this. So and it's been a month, so we got to do this. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to set y'all up. Oh, I know. Let me see y'all. Y'all me see. Let me see y'all. And I'm gonna... This is, this is a long, long process. Yes, it, it, it takes a while to do this. And y'all, if you want to own chickens, you better be looking forward to raking around poop. Because that's what you're going to be doing. And we also got to clean the box off up there, too. Yes. So, what I like to do is kind of... So, no... A lot of people would do this. This is more helpful for me. From time to time. I just kind of pull this tube out. And stick it over here. And yes, there's a hole I can go back in. I keep the funnel right here. Then I gotta, I gotta bring the dirt that's from over here. I gotta put it underneath these bricks because they like to scratch it out. Yeah, I mean, they're bad about that. Now the water is a different story. It's always gross. It just stays like that. So we can't do anything about the water. No. Besides letting it run. Yeah, I like to let it run and get some. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on so we can get some wet, wet in here. So yeah. It's not so and dusty. that's another thing that's good with this is because when the water's running, it kind of turns into mud, and you can still move it around with this because it gets up underneath. Just let this run for a little bit. So yeah, it's going to be a little noisy where you guys are at. Until I jumped out of there. 
noisy. As you guys can hear it, it's a little noisy, so sorry about that. Gotta get the junk out of the water. And then, should, and then the kids just come up over here. And it's kind of a. Hey, what's going on here? So I just kind of like to use this to kind of break up some of the old stuff. Hey, here's my birthday pick though. But... <laughs> no. Now, when we have a big rig day, I do come down here and help them do the rig day. Yeah, and we have these once a month for moisture in the coop and um, dust. As you can tell, it's very dusty. So running water in here helps a lot. Yeah, you have a big one. Not the big one. Yeah. It's a big one. For all you people that I don't like, yes, I definitely won't hit you. Yeah. We had everything in. Um, we had a bit of an issue with the water. It was really bad. And the reason we were having an issue is because all of the water that was in our yard got our yard flooded. Because we live literally on a hill. And when it came down from our driveway, it kind of came into our backyard through the fence and flooded our entire backyard. Like we have a pool back here, so the pools are flowing, like overfilling. Um, so it, when it came down, it rinsed out the dog pen and rinsed out the chicken completely. Where we had a flood in here, yeah. so we had to figure out how to get it out of that flooded. But now we're kind of wanting some more rain, like heavy rain, because that way we get some dusty all that. Yeah, we haven't got some heavy rain at all. That's the only part that sucks about owning chickens is that most of the time. All right, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get the green hose real quick, and so we can get more. That's not doing what I want to do. Yeah, it's just kind of rinsing out the water, which is fine, which is great. But it's still not good. But I do want to go ahead and tell y'all about what we're working on currently right now. We are working on a new background to our YouTube channel. You know that we have Tucker as our thing, but we're, yeah, we're, we're working on a new logo. Yes, we're working on a new logo. We're going to turn it into um, something a little cooler. So I don't want y'all to be like, this isn't the Brad Mason McKinley's YouTube channel because, like, this isn't the same logo. So, we're gonna make a different logo, and I just want to warn y'all about that before you got, some of you guys unsubscribe to this YouTube channel. Yeah. Because you think we're not the same. I'm sure most of you guys are gonna watch this video. So let all your friends know that we're changing our logo if they watch our YouTube channel. The chickens don't like to be wet. I'm not trying to wet them. Yeah, they're fine. The chickens are fine. They just don't like to be wet. It doesn't hurt them or anything. They can dry out their wings. They're like normal bird. <laughs> We're trying to give our chickens a bath one time. Yeah, we tried to give our chickens a bath one time. And that was an epic fail. Now, I will tell you some tips about the chickens in this video. It's tips to owning chi chickens. So... What you need to do, if your chicken ever gets to the point where they're not leaving the nesting box, but the second you try to get their egg, they're screaming at you because they don't want you to grab it. They think that that is their child. I can't remember what it's called. Brooding. Brooding. But... Brooding. Brooding. But... What you have to do is take a pool, like a miniature pool. Oh, jeez, my <laughs> shoes. My shoes got flooded in water. But what you have to do when that happens, take a pool, a miniature pool of water. You can get it at a dollar store or wherever you're at. And fill it up with cold water. You're gonna grab that chicken, even though they're gonna be alone, pecking you or whatever. 
trying to spare you, even though they're, they're, they're literally not roosters. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to grab them, stick them in that thing, hold them there for 20 minutes. By the time 20 minutes is up, you can take them out, and they'll dry themselves off. Then that's how you prevent it. Yep. And from it getting really bad. Now, if it gets to the point where it's really bad, um, we have one chicken do that, and we stuck her in that pool for about two hours. And she got a little bit better, but we had to do it for a week. Um, yeah, but we had to do that for a week, so it was not a lovely sight, but it wasn't horrible sight to see. It's every summer when they get back into that. Yeah. It, right now they're not laying a lot. Well, well. All sudden they just started laying a lot of eggs again. Well, they just came out of molting. And for those who don't Chickens stop laying eggs. They're not happy. You gotta make them happy. Yeah, apparently I made our chickens happy. So, our chickens were in molting season. Um, for those who don't know what molting is, is where they lose all their feathers and make their feathers stronger. Like, their feathers grow back and they grow back strong. And once they're finally happy with the, what they look like, they go ahead and lay more eggs. Which is perfect because every once in a while you need a break from eggs. Yep. Learn from experience. <laughs> yeah, we ended up with 30 eggs a day. Yeah, we were having like 6 eggs a day and then... Next thing you know, in a week we already had 30. Yeah, I was counting. We had like 2... Uh, cartons and it was really bad. It was like we got to the point where we couldn't keep all those eggs. Yeah, we had to give them to people. Yeah, we had to start giving them to people and stuff. And and they're already coming back pretty strong, so it's not always what you want, but when you get it, it makes nice. For a change, mm -hmm. but this is just kind of like a process. You kind of kind of do this. But enough talking about chickens. Let's talk about something a little more interesting about our channel. Mason, you can. Uh, I don't know. So, oh my God, you don't know. You haven't been on the computer at all. So, um, apparently, Mason hasn't seen uh, what I've done to our logo. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. yeah. I went ahead and kind of put our shapes as 3D. Oh, I didn't even that. And, but I have it unfinished. Um, I think you're missing have already been. Gypsy, what are you doing? She's kind of sitting there. Well, now that we got it all working around, now we need, now we need to start putting it back. Yeah, and on top of the mat. Yes. So, let's go ahead and grab the shovel and start laying it on these mats. So we take, hey, you have my shovel. Give me my shovel. Give me my shovel. Give the boss's shovel back. Look, it says boss on it. Hey, mine says boss. It says bite on the food. Shut up. It says boss. Go on, get out of here. But yeah, so uh, YouTube did ban us and we told you that all yesterday. So I don't want to talk about that no more. I don't either, but I'm just going to go ahead and say we're taking it easy to ease back into it. Because right now we are on the watch list. We're being watched every move. Every move we make. <sighs> so yeah, we're just placing this back on the mat. I don't think they can manage for a chicken video. They can't. We're just, we're just helping our chickens get better. Yeah. Hey, Jackie, what are you doing? And another exciting thing coming up. Um, as y'all know, I have braces. Betty White, get out of the camera. Bro. Betty White. <laughs> Misty Daisy, Misty Daisy. Don't mind the puppies. That's our puppies. But um, some exciting things coming up. As y'all know, I have braces, but I only have four brackets on. Hush. Misty Daisy, go lay down. Anyways, but I'm gonna let them hurt their throats. And get a sore throat from barking, but um, I am getting on the 24th. I am getting my entire mouth done with brackets and braces. And that is hush. That's they don't, seven. They don't, they don't like our dog. 
That's eight days before my birthday. And it Ray for Kimberly. is going to be pain for a birthday. I'm having, pizza. I'm having pizza and cake. I didn't tell you. Oh, you changed it? Well, because um, chili was too much. But her birthday is on June 26th. I mean, June 26th. January 20th. January, January 30th. Yeah. My That's, birthday is June 26th. Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Same day. Which we obviously aren't filming on her birthday. And I cannot say my age because she's going to come after me. It doesn't matter if you say your age, no matter what, they're going to come after you. I'm breaking off this top so it's really loud. I'll probably wait until we get the camera out of there because it's going to most likely hit the camera or something stupid like that. But it's looking better. It's nice and watered down, not too much dust. But now we need to get this dirt that's on the floor onto the top of this box so they have some to sleep and it's nice and soft and stuff. So I think we're gonna cut the camera for a little bit because it's we're just basically doing the same thing and we'll catch you guys when it's almost done. Okay right, guys. guys. So we collect our greens out of the bin. We have further that way. The honey shed. It's but, way over there. We're not going all of it. No. Um but we have a bin full of fresh greens and this is when I feed them. Um after we clean that out their cage we go ahead and throw some in. I uh, also do this every morning. I just grab a couple leaves, sling them in there. So. Let's go ahead and get some in there. This is the nutrients they need now. And this is a good thing for the chickens to have. So any, if you if you ever go clipping your trees, like your plants, collect uh, these and stick them in. Where are your chickens so really? Chickens love them. Just spread them out. <laughs> oh, look, they're already starting to kind of eat them. Yeah, I like to put some leaves everywhere. Like this. I like sometimes just like leaving them on the tree. Yeah, yeah I sometimes leave them on the tree, sometimes take a couple off the tree. It all depends on the day. The day you're in, the mood you're in. <laughs> okay, well, while she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, well, we need to grab the eggs soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff wrapped up. I went ahead and put the pipe back already. Oh. Put this in there. Put this like that, because we lost the cap, so we have to keep the thing like that. So, when I see like a new tree, I don't let, I don't let them eat this, the green, like green, green tree, because this means it's a fresh, it's like fresh. So you're gonna throw it. So I usually pull the leaves off of it and sling it in to the compost because it'll grow. He likes the compost. Yeah. yeah. And now we need to get all these eggs and peppers. And we need to pick the peppers. So we're gonna have to set the camera down for this one because we got a lot of eggs. We gotta carry to the house. So we gotta go get the basket. Yeah. Let's go. We gotta get the basket. Come on. Let's go. We gotta go get the basket of eggs. Yeah. So we have a lot of eggs and. Um, we like to put them in the basket that's in our thing. Mm -hmm. the other eggs, but we like to put our eggs out first because they're already clean. Yep, so let's look at this. Let's look at this. Okay, guys, so this is the basket. We just went inside the house. This, this is, the is the basket. It's empty, so you guys believe this. Let me empty it. Empty. Put it here. You can hold it. And we're going to count how many eggs we're sitting in there. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure it's around 24. Eggs. My Hi. guess, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say 19. I'm gonna say 12. Is my guess. <laughs> Yo, you ain't. You ain't. But winning. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, great! Now we gotta fight a chicken. Oh no! I'm playing one right now. Okay. Right. One. What would you guess? 12. Yeah. Two. Mine was 19. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at that. Ah! Four. Move. <laughs> she, the way she stares at me, though. That's oh, she's she right gonna there. get you. She's gonna get you. I ain't sticking my hand in there. That's fourteen right there. All right, let me. 
Noom noom. Come on. Keep your head back. She's getting broody. 14, 15. 15. Come on, girl. 16, 17. 18. Let me see. Sorry. Right. Move. 18. 18. I was the closest. I, I, I said. She said 19. I said 19. I said 12, but 18 eggs. Holy. Holy God. moly. And we're getting ready to have 19. With that chicken. We made them all happy. We made them all happy. I feel I'm a proud mother. With Heart. Sinking 18 eggs. Yeah, well, we made them all happy, but now let's go back up to the house and start rinsing. Get off. She's fine. She gets out all the time. Mary Poop is trying to come out. She always gets out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. The YouTube channel, Mason McKinley's YouTube. And we're going to be changing the logo around in the background, so stay tuned for that. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>